आई एम अंगीरा वेलकम टू फियामाज माई हैप्पीनेस द ग्रीक स्पोक अबाउट सेवन काइंड ऑफ लव द फर्स्ट इज इरोस इरोस इज रोमांटिक और पैशनेट लव द सेकेंड वन इज फिलिया फिलिया इज ऑथेंटिक फ्रेंडली लव द थर्ड वन बींग लूडस लूडस इज फ्लर्टेशियस लव प्लेफुल The fourth one is a gap. A gap is universal love, love for everyone, humanity. The fifth one is pragma. Pragma is long-standing love, something that we have seen between our grandparents. The sixth one is storge. Storge is the effortless love that parents feel towards their children. and the seventh one is philautia that is self love yes you're right today we are going to talk about love the four lettered magic word and we expect all this kind of love from one person imagine the pressure on that person we forget about loving ourselves today we're going to talk about self love and how we can explore that in self psychology the self is considered as a central axis or the central universe if the developmental environment of a child is appropriate then the child grows up with a great sense or a healthy sense of self and throughout life the child can self soothe and self regulate however if the situation had not been the same the child or the grown up might be looking for external validation moving in front of the mirror can be very intimidating can be embarrassing can be very confronting but at the same time it can be very healing it can be a process to discover the self discover the inner child and to develop that love that has been lost long today we're going to move in front of the mirror and discover a few things about ourselves stand in front of the mirror in a comfortable position keeping your eyes open and observe three things that you like about yourself for me i can say i like my smile i find my shoulders strong oh i like my fingers they have stories to say And now observe three things that you do not like much about yourself. Oh my belly hangs out. My upper arm is loose. My lower back hurts. My knees ouch. Oh I can go on. Let us move through all the negative associations that we have developed with so many parts of our body. Let's move. Thanks to media where an ideal body is constantly promoted which gives us ideas about how our bodies should be. Let's make a bag in front of us. A big one. And all the negative thoughts and feelings and emotions and observations we have about certain parts of our body. Let us take it from that part and put it into the bag. Let's move and fill up the bag. Here my feeling from my belly goes into the bag. 
Here, my feeling about my arms goes into the back. Like this, all the negative feelings fill up the back. And once you are done with it, tie the mouth of the bag and keep pressing it with both your hands. Press harder, make it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. till you can crush it between your palms and turn it into powder and once you do that sprinkle it sprinkle the dust you're free of the negative feelings and associations with different parts of your body. Let's move in a relaxed way. And now, let's create a fresh new bag, a healthy one. Where we are going to put all the positive associations we have about each part of our body or how we want each part to support us we are going to put that feeling into that bag I want my lower back to be very strong and support me I already have very strong shoulders Oh my smile and my fingers are carrying stories. My knees can develop healthier. My upper arms, oh they can tighten up and get stronger. My belly, it has housed a child and it is the home for nutrition and nourishment for the rest of my body. My hips, they provide me strength and support. My neck keeps my head up. My legs, they're strong and they take me forward. My arms help me embrace love. And like this, I put positive feelings and associations with each part of my body and put it into the bag. And when the bag is full, I step into it. I step into the space in front of me in the bag and absorb all the feelings and emotions that I have filled up the space with. Inhaling them, absorbing them, sprinkling them over me. And as soon as I discover what these parts of my body have been doing for me or are doing for me, I develop so much of love, care and compassion for the real me. Connecting with the child inside makes me so happy. And I'm ready to embrace me the way I am and nurture the parts that have felt uncared for so long. 
I touch every part of my body with loving energy, nurturing energy, and I discover a new me beyond my physical self. As I do it, I discover the confident woman I am, the compassionate human being I am. I discover my strengths beyond my physical body and I move through them. And last but not the least, I hug myself. I bring both my hands together and interlock the fingers, turn it around and stretch. While stretching, I take it above my head, keeping the shoulders down. And I open my arms, bring it around my torso and embrace myself. I turn to the right and to the left, hugging myself tight and warm. and enjoy the hug by self. How was having the conversation with yourself in front of the mirror? In front of the mirror at times your inner critic might come out. However, if you practice consistently, you will feel that the process of healing has started. For that, you can use affirmations that mean authentic to you. You can keep a journal for yourself and allow whatever is coming up without judging and see the magic self-love does for you. Enjoy these simple techniques offered by Fiamma My Happy Mess.